Hey guys, I'm currently calibrating Samsung QN90B using Kelman 2022 calibration software. And as I was doing initial readings, I would like to show you the difference between light sensor being turned on and off. Because maybe you're not even aware that even though you're expecting high nits from your TV, like 1000 nits, actually you're getting much smaller number because light sensor is turned on and in dark environment basically you're getting dimmer image. So here on this chart you see peak brightness in case of brightness optimization turned off. So different screen sizes, different result, but peak was around 920 or 30 nits. In case of brightness optimization engaged value is much smaller it's around 200 nits and it drops off even more as window size increases now to show you initial readings this is with ambient light sensor turned off peak brightness 900 nits and EOTF Measurements very accurate. You see No big deviation. Okay. This is default movie HDR. So a bit too much blue, but overall good performance Now with light sensor turned on same result same charts look much different You see first of all at 100 nits 100 level 173 nits Big brightness and look at EOTF chart it says that all levels are much dimmer than they should be and just to show you and I advise that you check this so if we go to all settings general and privacy power and energy saving here you have this control brightness optimization so when you turn it off you will get maximum brightness from the tv of course if you have brightness setting set to 50 to maximum value in picture menu but if you enable it and you're in dark room like i am right now then brightness will depend on this minimum brightness value and default one is six maximum is 50. so it's up to you if you want maximum brightness, then disable brightness optimization. If you want TV to automatically change brightness, if you're in dark room for picture to be dimmer, then adjust this value. Maybe minimum brightness could be 40 or 30 in your case, but definitely for maximum performance, turn it off and in picture menu, keep uh, brightness at 50 for maximum impact of HDR content, especially on a TV like this with local dimming where HDR really comes to life. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know how did you adjust brightness optimization? Are you using light sensor or not? And I'll see you in my next video, which will be about picture settings for this TV. So now I'm returning to HDR calibration.